<laughs> no, no, sweetie. Um, with the bishop gone, your daddy's first counselor to the bishop, and he'll be in charge for a few weeks. Well, he certainly had things under control today, didn't he? Yeah, thanks for the support there, Jules. Anytime, bro. Thanks. Excellent. Julie, let's go. Lights out. But I still have homework. Which you wouldn't have if you hadn't been on the phone for two hours. Well, if I still lived in California, I could see my friends all the time and wouldn't have to worry about making time for phone calls. And making time in the morning to get up earlier to do your homework because now it's time for you to go to bed. Good night. I hate this place. What? <laughs> I'm talking about dealing with your sister and her attitude. I think dealing with your sister comes in close second to eternal damnation. Didn't I get to the Dr. Phil book on dealing with teenagers? Did you even an ultimate? Can stupid things women do to mess up their lives? Seriously, honey. It's good, right? Yeah. So, George, uh, what did you do in Omaha before the move? I was Maybe we should have made the fruit salad. No, no. Oh, I, I don't mean you. Mouth. <laughs> what? He's hysterical. My family is so boring with their domestic tranquility lifestyle. I don't know. Your brother seems like a cool guy. Yeah, whatever. He was my last resort. I was living in California before my parents moved to the Philippines. My dad had to become a mission president over there. So jacked up. I didn't want to go, so I had to come here. You said your dad was a mission president. What's that? You know those young guys that come to your door wanting to talk about the Mormon church, Mormon missionaries? Yeah. Well, the mission president is the really old guy in charge of all those young guys. You know what I To give the Mormons the Jehovah's Witnesses addresses and the Jehovah's Witnesses the Mormons addresses, have them show up and go out of each other, like religion's version of the Bloods and the Crips. <laughs> do you ski? No, but I might got to do something if I don't want to die of boredom around here. At least now you have a satellite dish to entertain you. You saw that? Your secret's safe with me. Hey, no boys in the room. You know the rules. That wasn't moms and dads. I didn't know that it applied here, too. Same family, same rules. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disrespect. Well, you didn't know. It's okay. Listen, we've got Kate. Come on. I'm watching my wait. Well, come watch it downstairs with the rest of us. Let's go. So, Rick, have you thought about going out for any of the uh, sports teams over at the high school? Uh, no, probably not. Really? Because, you know, you seem like the kind of guy that uh, I think they could use over there. Yeah, like, uh, what kind of sports? Well, you know, the, the regular ones. Baseball, basketball, wrestling. Uh... Wrestling? You mean like, uh... Do it! You beat the crap out of other kids, and then I don't have to get the angry phone calls at the end of the day from some PO'd vice principals. Your kid beat up this one, he beat up that, and we threatened this guy over here. No fuss, no muss. I don't have to get involved with you at all. <laughs> Brother Cheeseman, will you read us a story? Puts it against the wolf's temper. Yes. Yet another fun weekend for me here in Happy Valley. Just come on. There was four of us. Kopi Luwak? Oh, hey. Yeah, it's, uh, it's this real special coffee my dad likes. He wanted me to order it for him. He's a freak about this stuff. You know, he grinds his own coffee beans himself. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, what happened to you yesterday? Yeah, Kate told me. You guys actually came to church. Uh-huh. Oh, I faked a massive stomach ache. Sorry you had to suffer through it. No, uh, everyone was real nice. I kind of liked it. You're kidding me. No, it was cool. In fact, uh, your brother asked me to go with him on this big paintball thing him and the guys from the church are having up in the mountains this weekend. I'm gonna go. Great. You know, Rick, after dinner, we'll uh, head out and check out the paintballing equipment if you'd like. Hey, thanks. And you know, thanks for letting me stay for dinner, too. Oh, it's our pleasure. Um, but shouldn't you call your parents and make sure that they know you're here? Oh, no, that's fine. They got into another fight anyways. Yeah, Dad took off, and Mom, she drank a whole bottle of white Zinfandel, and she's face down, you know, wasted. So this works out fine. Yeah. So you've uh, ever actually uh, played paintball before, Rick? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Really? Not everyone's Rambo. Some people lead civilized lives indoors. Uh-huh. It's a shame about your dad couldn't make it with us. Uh, he told me about his doctor's appointment. He told you he had a doctor's appointment? 
Yeah, that's why he won't be coming paintballing with us. Well, you know, I thought this was going to stay in the family, but I guess we can confide in you guys. What? What's wrong? Well, Dad, uh, Dad's got to get a colonoscopy. Ooh, wow. What's a colonoscopy? Look it up on the internet. No, 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 no. Um, it's it's just a doctor's appointment, honey. Look, Rick, I don't want you to, to worry about it. It's probably nothing, really. You know, I had an uncle. He had a colonoscopy. Turns out it was a buffalo head nickel that he'd swallowed when he was two years old. <laughs> they got it back, too. Mint condition. I think tripled in value. Well, there really isn't a paintballing merit badge yet, but some of us are working on it. Um, I like to use this space here to sort of practice. We'll set up some targets and whatnot. Have you ever actually uh, shot a gun before, Rick? Well, uh... Well, it's pretty easy. It just, uh, there's the rifleman approach. You know, Chuck Connors, keen haw, keen haw. I like that one. Some prefer sort of the delicate Princess Leia sort of a feel, you know what I mean? So just... <laughs> You're right, that is pretty cool. Look at that, yeah. That's good. Actually, I was thinking of having that painted sometime soon, so... You know, I'll put up some targets to shoot at. How about that? Hey, uh, it's pretty fun. Oh, ah! Ah! So chilly. Yeah, you're right. That was fun. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What's your problem? You've been acting weird all day. My problem is when my friends come over and spend the whole night hanging out with my brother. So you was hanging out too. My idea of a good time is not to hang out with my brother. I had a good time. If your idea of a good time is to hang out with my brother, then you've got problems. Uh, I thought you said you was the one with the problem. I did. Shh. I did. Look, my brother is a complete dork, and his wife is this little homemaking Nazi. Your brother and his wife are good people, and not for nothing, but probably your mom and dad too. And you want nothing to do with him? You don't know how good you got it. That's another problem you got. Technically, that's just an extension to the first problem. Shh. Well, then you got one really big problem. It's a Mormon family, Catholic family, living next door to each other, right? So, uh, each family has a little four-year-old kid. One of them's a boy, one of them's a girl. It's summertime, the kids are out playing around, they turn on the sprinkler, the kids are young, they figure, ah, We'll strip down to our birthday suits, right? They're running around. All of a sudden, the little boy looks at the little girl and goes, Oh, look, there really is a difference between Mormons and Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I just got one more thing. What are you going to uh, do? Right. Hey, uh, uh, folks, if I could have your attention. Now, I know you don't uh, drink or smoke or have fun. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Uh, but I would like to... To toast with my caffeine-free Diet Pepsi, share with you an old Italian toast. It goes something like this. Che trova un amico, trova un tesoro. Which means he who finds a friend, finds a treasure. Chindan. Put your cups down, that's not appropriate. For heaven's sakes, it's the appearance of evil. Well, uh, thanks for having us, guys. This is great. Oh, you're leaving? Yep, we gotta go. Saturday night mass. Don't you want to stay for dessert? I left the ricotta pie on the table over there. Enjoy. No, oh, thanks for coming. Listen, about the other day, do you think we could talk later? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. See you. Thanks. Good to have you. Yeah, thanks. You guys take care, all right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> in Rome. <laughs> See ya. See you, Rick. Thanks for coming. You know, I've never heard a toast at a church dinner before. <laughs> that was a first. Well, George is a good guy. Yeah, they're good people. When for the FBI, notorious mob figure Carmine the Beans Pasquale and his family, known to neighbors as George, Linda, and Patrick Cheeseman, were in the witness protection program for just over a month when this apparent mob retaliation took place. Investigators say... So, 
Oh, uh, the... So... Oh, right. President, hi. I don't know if you can ever write or not, but if you can, here's the address to my parents' home in the Philippines. Your brother's kicking you out? <laughs> no. I decided I'm going to live with my parents. It's sort of trying to find a solution to my problems. I thought it was just one big problem. Mm -hmm. Then it might get a little smaller. Oh, let's go! Uh, I gotta go. Come on, get in! Hey, thanks for everything. Good luck with the baby. Thank you. All right, come on, get in. Good luck with everything. Be good, be safe. Hey, you take care of yourself. Oh, hey, one more thing. See ya. Take it easy. Bye.